I ranked all 153 type combinations in Pokemon, and there's a lot to get through, so let's just jump right into it. If you want a more in-depth look at the top 5, bottom 10, or never used ones, check out my videos on them. Number 153, Bug and Ice. Turns out combining the two individual worst types in the game makes something very bad. Sorry, Frostmoth. Number 152, Ice and Rock. Two four times weaknesses, four regular weaknesses, mostly worthless resistances, and bad offensive coverage. Yikes. Number 151. That's how many Pokemon there are. Dark and Psychic. These types combine to provide zero resistances. Plus, neither type can hit opposing dark types for neutral. Number 150. That's how many Pokemon there are. Grass and Bug. This Paris really bad. Not only do you get multiple 4 times weaknesses, you also have 4 individual types that neither Grass nor Bug can hit for even neutral. Number 149, Grass and Ice. Tons of weaknesses, plus a 4 times weakness to Fire, and neither type can hit either Fire or Steel for neutral damage. Aboma Sag. Number 148, Bug and Flying. Just like Goliath, this pair gives a 4 times weakness to Rock, and it offers very few resistances on top of a number of common weaknesses and poor offensive coverage. Number 147, Ice and Normal. Normal does nothing to enhance Ice, just like Landorus does nothing to enhance my enjoyment of Pokemon. Normal isn't known for drastically changing the type it's paired with, but in this case, doubling Ice's fighting weakness is enough to land this pair at the bottom. Number 146, Grass and Psychic. While Executor is a personal favorite Pokemon of mine, this pair is anything but cracked. Not only do you have a whopping 7 weaknesses, one of those is a double weakness, and as will be a trend, neither Grass nor Psychic can hit Steel-type Pokemon for even neutral damage. Number 145, Bug and Normal. While Bug is arguably the worst type in the game, Normal doesn't do much to hurt it, it also doesn't do much to help it, landing this pair near the bottom of our list. Number 144, Dark and Rock. While Tyranitar is a great Pokemon, it isn't because of its typing. 7 weaknesses, a 4 times weakness to fighting, and neither type can touch opposing fighting types. Imagine if they gave Tyranitar actual good typing. Number 143, Fire and Rock. This typing is a colossal disaster. Two 4 times weaknesses to common types makes any Pokemon difficult to use, and though it's stronger offensively, it doesn't matter how strong you are if you get knocked out before you can attack. And that concludes the F-tier typing combinations. Oh yeah, you're probably wondering how I even figured out how to rank all these types. Well, it wasn't easy to be honest. First, I sorted every single type combination into either S, A, B, C, D, or F-tier. Then I went through each of those tiers and sorted into either, say, A+, A, or A-. Then I went through and ranked within those subsections, though sometimes I had to break things up even more. It took a lot of work, but I wanted to do something special as a thank you for 500,000 subscribers. The F tier of types are combinations that significantly hold the Pokemon back, and in order to succeed, they need to make up for their dismal typing with a number of other strengths. Our next tier is the D tier, whose typing also holds them back significantly, but not quite as much as our worst pairing. Number 142 goes to Normal and Poison. Poison is the third worst type in the game, and Normal doesn't do anything to improve that. While this combo only has two weaknesses, neither type is able to hit Ghost, Rock, or Steel for even neutral damage. Number 141, Bug and Fighting. The only saving grace of this pair is its decent resistances, but a 4 times weakness to Flying, weaknesses to Fire, Psychic, and Fairy, and a whopping 4 types that resist both Bug and Fighting make this pair by far one of the worst in the game. Number 140, Normal and Rock. This type combination doesn't exist probably because it's total garbage. A 4 times fighting weakness on top of a bunch of other common weaknesses, mediocre resistances, and below average offenses lands this pair at the bottom of the D tier. Number 139, Ground and Grass. Listen, before you get mad, I like Torterra too, okay? The issue is this pair gives a 4 times weakness to Ice, only 2 resistances, and a whopping 3 types that resist both stabs. The one saving grace and the reason it's not lower is this type is able to hit 7 individual types for super effective, more than most. Number 138, Ground and Rock. Ground and Rock share a number of things, including weaknesses to grass and water. This combo is really bad defensively, but one of the better ones on our list thus far offensively. Number 137, Ice and Flying. Ice's atrocious defenses sink this pair like the Titanic. 
with an abysmal four times rock weakness and only two resistances plus an immunity. Neither type being able to hit steel adds insult to injury. Number 136, Rock and Poison. This pair has some things going for it, but a lot holding it back. A four times weakness to ground and both types being resisted by ground and steel is bad, but you do hit a fair few types for super effective and have a number of useful resistances. Number 135, Rock and Electric. This pair functions very similarly to Rock and Poison, but is slightly better because the only type that resists both stabs is Ground. This type is better offensively and worse defensively than Rock and Poison. Number 134, Ice and Fairy. Fairy is probably the best type in the game, but it pairs really poorly with Ice. Both types specialize in offense and combine to a four times weakness to steel with limited resistances. Since neither type can hit steel for neutral, this pairing really struggles. Number 133, Ice and Fire. A 4 times weakness to rock, 3 common weaknesses, and an inability to hit water or fire types for neutral damage lands Galarian Darmanitan Zen Mode towards the bottom of our list. Number 132, Dragon and Rock. While this combination doesn't have a 4 times weakness, it does have 6 weaknesses to common types, and resistances of varying value. While neither type can hit steel Pokemon for neutral damage, this type still has some stuff going for it. Number 131, Dragon and Grass. On paper, this pair might look worse than some of the earlier ones, with its 4 times weakness to ice and inability to damage steel types, but the nice resistances to common types and useful offensive coverage lands it solidly in the D tier. Number 130, Rock and Psychic. A whopping 7 weaknesses with only 5 resistances makes this combo very hard to use, and once again, neither type can hit steel Pokemon. The saving grace is the decent offensive coverage and somewhat useful resistances. Number 129, Bug and Poison. This type really struggles offensively, but is surprisingly solid defensively. Only four weaknesses combined with five helpful resistances, including two four times resistances, makes this type usable on a Pokemon that don't rely on offensive coverage. Number 128, Grass and Flying. A four times weakness to ice, limited resistances, and an inability to damage steel types lands this pair solidly in the D tier. But if you can get beyond these holdups, you find a combination with surprisingly solid offensive synergy. Number 127, Bug and Dark. This is a surprisingly balanced typing, with 5 weaknesses, 4 resistances, and an immunity, 4 super effective types, and 2 types that resist both stabs. While the type doesn't have anything it excels in, it lacks glaring weaknesses too. Number 126, Ice and Psychic. This pairing is a good example of a glass cannon. Six weaknesses with only two resistances makes it extraordinarily frail, but it is able to hit six types for super effective damage, though neither type can hit steel. Number 125, Dark and Ice. This typing struggles defensively with six weaknesses, including a four times weakness to fighting, and three resistances and an immunity don't exactly make up for it. The strength of this typing is in its offenses, hitting six types for super effective with no type resisting both of its stabs. Number 124, Grass and Fighting. This might seem low for a typing with decent Pokemon like Breloom and Verizion, but there are some major issues. The six weaknesses, including a four times weakness to flying, are somewhat offset by the six resistances, and the ability to hit seven types for super effective looks great at first. The issue is that neither type can hit poison, bug, or flying for neutral damage, landing Grass and Fighting low on our list. Number 123, Ghost and Psychic. This pairing has a number of issues. While it only has two weaknesses to Ghost and Dark, both of those are four times weaknesses. Additionally, it only gets two resistances and two immunities, and neither type can touch Dark types. Number 122, Steel and Ice. Combining the best defensive type with the worst one is cool in theory, but it doesn't work out too well. A four times weakness to both Fire and Fighting, plus a ground weakness, are somewhat offset by the eight resistances and one immunity. Unfortunately, this type struggles offensively, as neither type can damage steel, water, or fire for even neutral damage. Number 121, Dark and Fighting. Do you want a fighting type that really loses to Fairy? Well, boy, do I have the combination for you. This pair only has three weaknesses, three resistances, and an immunity. And although it's incredibly weak to Fairy, the good offensive coverage makes it still usable. Number 120, that's how many Pokemon there are. Rock is one of the absolute worst types to pair with steel, due to the four times weaknesses to ground and fighting. It's still a steel type though, so you do get a number of handy resistances. Number 119, Dark and Normal. 
This is a very neutral type with a four times weakness and two normal weaknesses, a resistance, two immunities, and the ability to hit only two types for super effective. It would probably be in the C tier if not for the four times fighting weakness. Number 118, Bug and Psychic. This pairing balances a number of weaknesses with a few useful resistances and decent offensive coverage. The typing definitely hurts more than it helps though. Number 117, Bug and Fairy. A decently powerful defensive pairing, this type has numerous useful resistances without too many weaknesses. However, this combo has abysmal offensive coverage, with Poison, Steel, and Fire resisting both stabs. Number 116, Ice and Poison. Ice as a type is strong offensively and very weak defensively, with the reverse being true for Poison. Combining these types makes a pair with balanced, though somewhat weak traits across the board. Number 115, Water and Ice. This pair's decent offensive coverage doesn't offset the fact that it only has two resistances, landing it in the D tier. Number 114 is the last entry in the D tier, Fire and Electric. This type has a shocking number of resistances, but the four times weakness to ground holds it back significantly. While this one almost made it into the C tier, the ultimate deciding factor was that neither type is able to hit dragons for neutral damage. We've made it into the C tier. What defines this tier is that the typing doesn't necessarily help the Pokemon with it, but it doesn't significantly hold them back either. Before we jump into the C tier, I'd like to ask you to subscribe. At the moment, only about 4% of my viewers are subscribed, and if we improve that number a bit, I really think we could get to a million subs. Anyway, back to our list. At the very bottom of the C tier, we have Grass and Fairy, coming in at number 113. The good resistances are offset by a 4 times weakness to Poison, and Poison, Steel, and Fire resisting both stabs. Number 112 goes to Bug and Rock. This typing only has three weaknesses and two resistances, but is able to hit seven types for super effective damage. It's mainly held back by its inability to hit steel and fighting for neutral damage. Number 111, Fighting and Poison. A four times weakness to Psychic and two types that resist both stabs limit what this typing is capable of, but the six resistances and seven types hit for super effective damage make up for it. Number 110, Flying and Psychic. This is a pretty mediocre typing with numerous weaknesses, limited resistances, bad offensive coverage, and an inability to hit steel types. Number 109, Rock and Grass. This typing has surprisingly good offensive coverage, minus an inability to hit steel types, but struggles a bit due to its lack of resistances. Number 108, Dragon and Flying. This pair has an abysmal four times weakness to ice, in addition to other common weaknesses but also has some useful resistances and okay offensive coverage. Number 107, Dragon and Fighting. Do you want a Dragon type that really loses to Fairy? This pair has a bunch of useful resistances, but struggles due to a four times weakness to Fairy, weaknesses to Ice, Dragon, and Flying, and an inability to hit Fairy types that is somewhat made up for with its otherwise good offensive coverage. Number 106, Fire and Poison. This is a surprisingly good defensive type that's limited in what it can do by its 4 times ground weakness. I'd put this typing in B tier if it wasn't 4 times weak to ground. Number 105, Dragon and Psychic. Psychic doesn't really aid in the weaknesses of Dragon type, but you do at least get some neat resistances. Number 104, Normal and Flying. This is the most normal pairing Normal can have, with very few relationships with the other types. Number 103, Dark and Dragon. Do you want a dark type that really loses to fairy? Number 102, Bug and Dragon. This pair is pretty strong defensively, but lacks the offensive coverage to shine due to its inability to hit fairy or steel types. Number 101, Grass and Normal. This combo has a number of weaknesses, but the specific types it resists allows it to spot in the C tier rather than the D tier. Number 100, Electric and Grass. This neat little pairing has a balanced spread of weaknesses and resistances, but struggles due to its inability to hit grass and dragon types. Number 99, Dragon and Ice. Dragon does a good job balancing out some of the defensive issues of ice, but still makes something that struggles defensively and struggles to hit steel types offensively. Number 98, Psychic and Poison. This is a funny pairing that doesn't have a ton going for it, but also doesn't have that many weaknesses and has a positive matchup against fairy types. Number 97, Fire and Flying. If you can get around the major weakness to rock, you've got a pretty solid type on your hands. Number 96, Grass and Water. 
Few weaknesses and resistances leave this typing in an okay spot, but the inability to hit dragon or grass types lands it in the C tier. Number 95, Normal and Fighting. This is a solid typing that is held back due to the fact that the types it's weak to are overall way stronger than the types it resists. Number 94, Grass and Dark. This pair has a ton of both weaknesses and resistances, but the good offensive coverage earns it its spot in the top 100. Number 93, Ghost and Ice. A great offensive pairing with very limited defensive tools makes this combination very volatile. Number 92, Rock and Flying. Overall very balanced, the only thing holding it back from being in the B tier is the inability to hit steel types. Number 91, Fire and Normal. Above average defensively, but lacking a little bit of firepower on the offensive side. Number 90, Ice and Fighting. This pair is able to hit a monstrous 9 individual types for super effective damage, but is limited in what it can do by its 6 weaknesses to only 3 resistances. Number 89, Electric and Poison. This pairing would be amazing if the ground type didn't exist. It only has 2 weaknesses, but one of those being a 4 times to ground really hurts, especially since neither type can hit ground types. 8 resistances is nothing to scoff at though. Number 88, Flying and Poison. Another typing that is strong defensively, but really struggles offensively, as both Rock and Steel resist both stabs. Number 87, Psychic and Ground. This combo has 6 weaknesses, many of which are to common types, and makes up for it with its good offensive coverage. Number 86, Rock and Water. Although this typing is a bit weaker on the defensive side, thanks to its 4 times Grass weakness and below average set of resistances, it makes up for it somewhat with its good offensive coverage. Number 85, Steel and Normal. 10 resistances and 2 immunities would normally warrant at least a B tier placement, but the 4 times fighting weakness and poor offensive coverage holds it back. Number 84, Psychic and Normal. This is a very synergetic partnership, with Normal protecting from the ghost moves Psychic is weak to, and Psychic reducing the damage from the fighting moves Normal is weak to. Number 83, Electric and Ground. Although this typing is weak to several common types, it has a few useful resistances and overall good offensive coverage, if you ignore the fact that neither type can hit grass types. Number 82, Psychic and Fighting. Only 3 weaknesses and 2 resistances makes this pairing a bit of a blank canvas, and the good offensive coverage yet inability to hit psychic types lands it near the top of the C tier. Number 81, Dark and Ground. Very good offensively, pretty okay defensively, C tier. Number 80, Ghost and Bug. Good resistances and immunities, surprisingly good offensive coverage, weaknesses leave a little bit to be desired. Number 79, Bug and Ground. Similar to Ghost and Bug with slightly worse defenses and slightly better offenses. Number 78, Poison and Ground. This combination has a good offensive spread, with just slightly below average defensive typing. Number 77, Electric and Water. Only two weaknesses is great, but neither type can hit either Dragon or Grass types. Number 76, Dragon and Electric. We're at the very top of the C tier now, and the only thing holding this pairing back is its limited super effective coverage and weaknesses to common types. Number 75, Fire and Water. As much as I love this typing both thematically and defensively, neither type can hit Water or Dragon types. Number 74, Rock and Fighting. This pair has phenomenal offensive coverage, but also boasts a whopping 7 weaknesses, making it a high risk, high reward combination. Number 73, Dark and Flying. This is a well-balanced typing that does everything slightly above average. And finally, at the very top of the C tier is number 72, Grass and Ghost. This typing has multiple useful resistances and good offensive coverage, with a reasonable number of weaknesses. We've made it to the B tier. This tier is characterized by typing that is good, but not great. All of the typings in this tier will actively aid most Pokemon in accomplishing their goals. Number 71, Rock and Fairy. While this pair does have a 4 times weakness to steel, its good offensive coverage and moderately useful resistances, plus immunity to dragon, lands it in the very bottom of the B tier. Number 70, Psychic and Fairy. This typing has very few weaknesses and resistances, but it makes up for it with good offensive coverage. An inability to touch steel types keeps it from being higher on our list. Number 69, Fairy and Flying. This pair trades better offensive coverage and more resistances for additional weaknesses. Neither type is able to damage steel types, keeping it at the bottom end of the B tier. Number 68, Bug and Fire. Although this combination sports a 4 times weakness to rock, 
It has a number of useful resistances and pretty good offensive coverage. Number 67, Poison and Grass, Amogus. Number 66, Normal and Ground. While this pair lacks resistances, it only has a few weaknesses, and its good offensive coverage makes it very threatening. Number 65, Ghost and Dark. The original no weakness typing. The addition of Fairy really exposes this combination's lack of resistances. Number 64, Fighting and Ground. This type is very polarizing, with a fair share of weaknesses and resisted types, but a lot of Pokemon hit for super effective damage as well. Number 63, Fairy and Poison. A strong defensive typing with only 3 weaknesses and 5 resistances plus an immunity. This type struggles to damage steel and poison types offensively. Number 62, Dragon and Ground. Phenomenal offensive coverage is offset somewhat by a 4 times weakness to ice plus limited resistances. Number 61, Grass and Fire. This typing doesn't have many weaknesses or resistances, but the resistances it does have are very valuable. Both types struggle to hit opposing fire and dragon types. Number 60, Ghost and Poison. Two 4 times resistances and two immunities make the offensive nature of this type easier to play around. Number 59, Dragon and Normal. While this typing hits only one other type for super effective damage, it creates a dragon type that has a move to hit fairies for neutral at least. Number 58, Fairy and Normal. Similar to Dragon and Normal, this pair is a fairy type that hits fire and poison for neutral damage instead of resisted damage. Number 57, Ghost and Rock. Solid offensive typing that is dampened by 6 weaknesses, many of which are common types. This pair takes advantage of the immunities from Ghost and the Sandstorm benefits from Rock. Number 56, Dragon and Poison. While neither type can damage Steel Pokemon, a Dragon type that threatens fairies is very valuable. Number 55, Ice and Electric. The famous Bolt Beam combo doesn't have many weaknesses, allowing it to shine offensively. Number 54, Dragon and Fairy. This is a strong defensive type that takes advantage of having a dragon type that doesn't lose to other dragons, but still struggles to deal with steel type Pokemon. Number 53, Ghost and Flying. Having three immunities makes offensive Pokemon much easier to use, and Ghost and Flying make good use of that thanks to their strong offensive coverage. Number 52, Electric and Normal. This combination only has two weaknesses, and Normal allows Electric to hit the ground, grass, dragon, and electric types that would normally resist it. Number 51, Steel and Poison. This is a phenomenal defensive pairing that is unfortunately held back by a 4 times weakness to ground in addition to poor offensive coverage. Number 50, Steel and Dark. While slightly worse defensively than Steel and Poison, Steel and Dark has far superior offensive coverage, with no type resisting both stabs. Number 49, Fire and Fighting. Everyone's favorite pairing. Fire and Fighting have great offensive synergy, in addition to a good amount of useful resistances and only 4 weaknesses. Number 48, Ghost and Fairy. Although this typing only has 1 resistance, having 3 immunities and good offensive coverage goes a long way. Number 47, Fire and Ground. While a 4 times water weakness holds it back, the only other weakness this type has is ground, and in exchange you get 5 resistances and immunity and are able to hit 8 types for super effective with no type resisting both ground and fire. Number 46, Electric and Dark. Good offensive coverage is met with solid defensive resistances, without a significant number of weaknesses, landing this pair solidly in the B tier. Number 45, Ghost and Dragon. While you do get 5 weaknesses with this pairing, you also get 6 resistances, 2 immunities, and no resisted types offensively, making for a relatively powerful combination. Number 44, Electric and Psychic. Four weaknesses, five resistances, and good offensive coverage make for a well-balanced, slightly offensive Pokemon. Number 43, Water and Flying. While this pair does have a four times weakness to Electric, its only other weakness is to Rock, and in exchange you get five resistances and immunity and hit six types for super effective damage. Number 42, Ghost and Ground. This combo provides three immunities and three resistances to offset its five weaknesses, and is able to hit 7 types for super effective damage. Number 41, Fighting and Flying. While this typing is slightly worse defensively than some of the ones before it, it's able to hit 8 types for super effective damage, earning it a higher placement. Number 40, Bug and Electric. This pair only has 2 weaknesses, and boasts 4 resistances and surprisingly good offensive coverage in exchange. Number 39, Dragon and Fire. We're at the top of the B tier now, 
Dragon and Fire combine for only 3 weaknesses, and have pretty good offensive coverage in addition to 5 resistances, 2 of which are 4 times resistances. Number 38, Ghost and Electric. This is a well-balanced typing with an emphasis on defense, as you have only 3 weaknesses with 5 resistances and 2 immunities. An added bonus is that no type resists both Electric and Ghost. Number 37, Ghost and Fire. This combo has 7 resistances and 2 immunities, as well as above average offensive coverage. The only thing holding this typing back from A tier was its 5 weaknesses. Number 36 is our penultimate spot in the B tier, and it goes to Water and Bug. A water type that isn't weak to grass and resists ground is especially good when you consider that Bug threatens the grass types which are usually used as a check to water Pokemon. Our final entry in the B tier goes to Poison and Water at number 35. This is a phenomenal defensive pairing whose only weakness is a lack of offensive coverage. We made it all the way to the A tier. The A tier is characterized by typing that is great and actively helps the Pokemon. Every type combination in here is going to be actively aiding the Pokemon it's attached to in most contexts. Number 34, Water and Normal. I had Water in the S tier on my original typing tier list, and Water and Normal is basically just a better version of pure water. Number 33, Berry and Dark. With only 3 weaknesses and 2 immunities in conjunction with good offensive coverage, this is a versatile pairing that can shine on both offensive and defensive Pokemon. Number 32, Steel and Grass. This is a phenomenal defensive pairing that is only held back by its 4 times weakness to fire and somewhat lacking offensive coverage. Number 31, Electric and Steel. This is a slightly more offensive version of Grass and Steel that instead boasts of 4 times weakness to ground and better offensive coverage. Number 30, Fairy and Fighting. A fairy type with a built-in check to steel types is very powerful, though neither type being able to hit poison types is a flaw. Number 29, Steel and Fire. While a 4 times weakness to ground is an issue, having 9 resistances and an immunity on top of pretty solid offensive coverage makes up for it. Number 28, Water and Psychic. This is another balanced combination that can lean into either defense or offense depending on the Pokemon. Number 27, Steel and Flying. With 2 weaknesses, 8 resistances, and 2 immunities, this typing is extremely solid, though it does struggle against fire and electric types both offensively and defensively. Number 26, Steel and Psychic. Like most of the Steel type dual types, this pair shines defensively and has trouble against opposing Steel types. Number 25, Fire and Psychic. 5 weaknesses in exchange for 7 resistances is a good trade, and this combination can hit 6 types for super effective making it both balanced and strong. Number 24, Water and Fighting. This typing is actually similar in many ways to our previous one, but just slightly better offensively, earning it a higher spot on our list. Number 23, Steel and Water. Another defensive behemoth, this time with an inability to hit opposing water types. Number 22, Water and Dark. This combination has 5 weaknesses, 6 resistances, and an immunity on top of solid offensive coverage. While many Pokemon with this typing aren't normally considered good, if a Pokemon with both bulk and damage output had it, I think it could shine. Number 21, Electric and Flying. This pair only has two weaknesses and boasts five resistances and an immunity. It isn't weak offensively either, able to hit five types for super effective, although neither type can touch opposing Electric types. Number 20 goes to Electric and Fighting. With only three weaknesses, this type's powerful offensive potency can go unchecked easily. Number 19, Ghost and Fighting. While it may appear worse defensively than Electric and Fighting, this typing has phenomenal offensive synergy and can use its two immunities to make up for a bit of its awkward defensive typing. Number 18, Ghost and Water. Another balanced type, this time trading only four weaknesses for six resistances and two immunities. This pair can also be strong offensively thanks to its relatively good type coverage. Number 17, Steel and Dragon. One of the best defensive Steel dual types this pairing's only weakness is its somewhat lackluster offensive coverage. Number 16, Steel and Fighting. This pairing trades some of Steel's natural bulk in exchange for more offense, resulting in a more offensive Steel type. Number 15, Electric and Fairy. With only two weaknesses, this offensive combination can take advantage of its five resistances and one immunity to stick around for a long time, or its good offensive coverage to rip holes in enemy teams. Number 14, Fire and Fairy. Although neither type can damage opposing fire types, having a fairy type that is strong against steel Pokemon is a pretty major deal. Number 13, 
Fire and Dark. Incineroar. Number 12, Dragon and Water. This is a solid offensive typing with two useful four times resistances and good coverage. Number 11, Steel and Ghost. Giving Steel types two additional immunities, one of those being to fighting types, is ridiculous. We've made it into the top 10. We're at the very top of the A tier now. The number 10 slot goes to Steel and Ground. This is another offensive take on the Steel type that is able to threaten the Fire and Steel types that normally give Steel types trouble. Number 9, Ice and Ground, a phenomenal offensive pairing that threatens the Grass and Flying types normally used to check Ground types. And with that, we're into our final tier, the S tier. These typings are ridiculously powerful and the best in the game in my opinion. Number 8, Bug and Steel. This pairing only has one weakness, and numerous resistances make it difficult to remove. Number 7, Poison and Dark. A dark type that threatens fairies and only has one weakness allows this type to excel both offensively and defensively. Number 6, Water and Ground. Once again combining two types that yield only one weakness, having a water type that is immune to electric attacks goes a long way. Number 5, Flying and Ground. Phenomenal offensive coverage, the only thing holding it back is its four times weakness to ice. Number four, Water and Fairy. A well-balanced type that can excel both offensively and defensively, thanks to its resistances, immunity, and good offensive coverage. Number three, Fairy and Ground. Arguably one of the most potent offensive pairings in the game, in the right context, a Pokemon with this typing could be game-breaking. Number two, Normal and Ghost. Three immunities and good offensive coverage makes this typing extremely dangerous on a Pokemon with good base stats. And finally, number one, Fairy and Steel. The best offensive type and the best defensive type combined to make something not even remotely balanced. And that's every single one. This video was honestly really difficult to make, and I'm not going to think about anything relating to typing for a long time. But I'm really glad I did it, as I wanted to say thank you for half a million subscribers. Thanks again, and I'll see you soon.